Hey YouTube, I'm Kishan, and in this video, we are gonna host the chat application on Netlify and Heroku, which was demanded by you guys. So, without wasting any further time, let me give you the demo of the chat app. So, this is the login page, this is the register page. Let's register a new user, which would be Jim Jim at gmail.com. Create user. Select an avatar. Okay, so there are already two users. So now let's log into the other user. New incognito window. Let me copy this URL. Open. And I'm gonna use cool. It would be just Kishan. Incorrect password. Okay. So now let's see. If the chat application works. Okay, I'm gonna select the gym, send a message hi, it is here, send an emoji. Send a message from here, hi, it would be returned here, hello. Yeah, so the chat application is working and it is hosted. So now without wasting any further time, let's start the process of hosting. And yeah, before proceeding further, I have announced channel membership to support my channel. You can join these channel membership and support my channel. There are four plans and each come with its unique perks. So please support the channel and join the channel membership. Now let's continue with the video. Okay, so now, uh, Let's host the application. So I have opened the source code into a new VS code. Now uh, let's head over to mongodb.com to create and host our database. So I have already an MongoDB account. So I'll just sign in. If you don't have an account, you can just create it by here. I'll click sign in button. And Login with Google I'll create a new project Project name would be Chat App Next Project owner is me Now that's it Create project Now I will build a database into this. We'll create this M0 cluster because it is free. Then leave the cluster name as it is. If you want to change it, you can. Then we'll create it. And we are gonna need an username and password. And the password would be anything of your choice. Make sure it is a strong password. Okay, 123, 123, 12, create user and my local environment IP address would be my current IP address plus I'll also add 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 slash 0. This means that the application can be accessed by anywhere in the world. That's it. Now I'll click finish and close, go to database. And yeah, our cluster is being created. This may take time. Okay, uh, while this is being done, we'll click this connect button and we'll click MongoDB drivers and yeah, Node.js 4.1 and we are going to copy this, uh, not now, let's keep this as it is and now let's head over to Heroku, Heroku for Node.js hosting, so we'll sign up. Create a new Heroku account. 
किशन शेट वॉट सी मेल ऑफ दिस अकाउंट किशन शेट टू बाई टू वन यूट्यूब रोल हॉबी एस्ट कंट्री इंडिया नॉट जेस एम नॉट अ रोबोट क्रिएट फ्री अकाउंट ओके एंड साइड दी मेल लेट्स ओपन दी मेल मोंगली भी एट लास्ट नो मेल फ्रॉम हेरोकू ओके हियर्स द मेल ओके सो लेट्स क्रिएट दी पासवर्ड set password and login click here to proceed accept create new app app name chat app kitchen create app then We'll use the uh, Heroku CLI. So for that, we are going to use this commands. So for that, we might need to do some changes. So let's do that. We are going to copy this MongoDB URL and paste it inside our server. And dot env. I think yeah, we will just paste it here and we'll change the password. One two three, one two three, one two. Save and again we want to change the origin also. So instead of this, we'll we're gonna cut this. We'll create a new variable named as origin and paste the string here. and let's change that in here so we'll write process so yeah, this should be process i'm sorry for that process dot env dot origin that's it yeah that's it everything works now let's cd to server okay so now uh, let's uh, do this heroku login so for this let's copy this and open the terminal and write npx and heroku login this would install the heroku cli mine is already installed press any button to open the browser and login okay so the heroku would be logged in yeah it is logged in now what was the other steps so get init and heroku get remote let's copy this and write get init is this the quiz is not recognized i think i have to write npx yeah that works set get remote heroku to kitchen after that get add make sure that uh, you have installed the get then get commit and get push heroku master this process may take time wait for it
okay so our app was deployed successfully let's reload this and let's head over to overview yeah our build was successful now let's head over to settings and click this reveal config virus and we have to add the environment variables here so for that let's uh, use this mongo url and copy the value add then we have this origin let's copy this whole cut it paste origin add that's it now we want to uh, restart our dino so we'll click restart all dinos and we'll head over to its console not console we'll just head over to its logs okay so we have an error start with mongodb plus srv so invalid scheme what was it i think we need to change it settings we will configure us with it and i think we don't want to give this okay so our application is up and the db connection was also successful so our database and backend was successfully hosted now all that is left is to host the front end so for that we have to open the app first and we'll just copy this app url we will close all of this and head over to our app public and inside the source utils api routes we'll change this local host to this route and we no, don't need the slash that's it do we have to make any other changes no we don't okay that's it and now inside the package.json i'm gonna add new property of home page as a dot close this let's head over to public cd public and now for netlify we want to uh, install the netlify cli so for that i will uh, add it by yarn add netlify cli we are going to host our uh, react app to netlify okay so the netlify installation was complete now let's build our react app by yarn build so i'm going to write yarn build okay so our build was complete now let's deploy it npx netlify deploy hyphen hyphen prod this is for the production authorize it should be authorized yeah we'll create and configure a new site kitchen site name would be uh, chat app kitchen okay we might need to change it chat app kitchen youtube the directory would be dot slash build or build directory that would be created when we created our build so it's created let's open our front end open 
okay so it's been hosted now let's do one thing we are going to need this and we want to change the uh, origin environment variable origin this one let's change it its value that's it see you changes and we'll restart our dyno new logs yeah everything is working now let's uh, create a new user kishan okay create Yeah, our user is created. Everything is working. Let's create, uh, let's select avatar. Yeah, the user has been created. Let's open our MongoDB. Sign in. You can also log in by cloud.mongodb.com. Okay, Google. Let's check if the user was created. Browse collections. Okay, users. And yeah, it was created indeed. Now let's create another user and check if the chat functionalities are working. So I'll open a new incognito window. I'm gonna copy this URL. Paste it and create another user which would be demo demo at gmail.com create user selecting an avatar and yeah it fetched it now let's have this booth side to side let's refresh this hi kishan uh, hi demo yeah it's working so as you can see that the app has been hosted and it is working So yeah, thank you for watching this video and if you need any more of these videos, please let me know in the comment section. So yeah, thank you.